One of the big innovations that my TTRPG Vagabond is bringing to your gaming table is going to be our innovative new magic system. Now, Vagabond, while being basic expert compatible, doesn't actually use fancy and magic. It's using a brand new mana point system that I developed inspired by the likes of Knave, Errant, and a little bit of Neoclassical Geek Revival. So starting up from the very top, you're going to use the cast action to do this. In Vagabond, it's a one action and your move action economy. Very, very simple, very clean. There's a couple of effects that allow you to skip your move in order to do them, which is going to feel a bit like using a bonus action or a reaction if you're familiar with 5th edition. Now, a breakdown of the cast action. Whenever you cast it, the first thing you need to know is if you're going to cast it to deal damage or cause the effect, or potentially do both by spending an additional mana. So what this means is most spells, if they have a damage source, this is the type of damage it's dealing and causing the effect. This is like in the case of the burn spell, this could be the damage of fire. And then the effect is going to be that it costs a lingering burn. Now, it's going to be one or the other unless you spend the mana to do both. So then it's going to be a D6 of fire. I spend the mana and then it also causes the burn effect on top of that. It's deliveries. So there's a bunch of different deliveries, and this is where Neoclassical Geek Revival is really kind of coming in clutch right here. So the deliveries are Aura. You want this to emanate out from you. A Bolt, you're going to send a Bolt of Magic. Cone, you send a Cone of Magic Effect in front of you. A Cube, just a 5-foot Cube. You can increase the mana cost in order to make more of these 5-foot Cubes. Imbue, you're actually going to imbue that into a weapon. Glyph, this is you put a glyph down on the ground and reduce your max mana. You determine the effect in which it causes it to trigger a line. So this is going to be not just a line, but also a wall that you can create with it. Remote, you just as long as you can see the target, you can cast it to hit it. Self, you're going to target yourself with the spell. Sphere, similar to fireball, you make a sphere of the magic effect and then touch someone else that you can touch. Lastly, you're going to determine how long it does last, which is its duration. Now, typically the way that spells work, if you just deal the damage, boom, that's an instantaneous thing. That's it. It's all resolved. Now, if you're casting it to do the effect, the minimum time that those are going to last is going to be one round. Now, if you want that to go on longer, what you would do is called focus on it. Focusing is similar to concentration from 5th edition, only it's a lot easier over here. I'm just going to be honest. What you're doing whenever you focus at the start of your turn, you have to declare that you are focusing on that effect and you can only focus on one effect at the same time. If it's a spell that you're focusing on, you also have to spend one mana and pass a cast check in order to maintain that focus. I mentioned something there, cast checks. So whenever you cast a spell in Vagabond, it will just sort of work for you as long as there aren't any unwilling targets that are affected by it, right? The easiest rule of thumb to apply to this is essentially if you don't have an unwilling target that's affected by the thing, the thing that you're doing just works. And then the moment that something would be affected by it that is an unwilling target, like you're trying to deal damage to something maybe, then suddenly we're going to start calling for a cast check. Now, cast checks, if you haven't really seen what all is going on with Vagabond, a resolution mechanic is different than what you're going to get out of some of the roll high systems like D&D 5e or Pathfinder. So basically what's happening here is the difficulty that's on your character sheet is what you're trying to hit. Think of this as like a DC that you're trying to roll over. So you always know what you need to hit to pass the check that you're trying to make. The way that we determine this is we find out what stat is associated with the skill and then we subtract that stat from 20. If you're trained with the skill that applies there, you double the stat and then you subtract that from 20. So let's say that my stat is 7 and then I'm training the skill that makes for 14, right? So I take 20, subtract 14 from that in order to get my skill difficulty, which is going to be a 6. This makes for incredibly quick resolutions. You're going to see if you go and watch some of the actual plays here on YouTube. Um, it makes for insanely quick resolution. And what it also means is that we don't need a GM to run the system. This is how Vagabond runs solo or co-op. All that being said, to tie this all back in on how magic is working here. If you wanted to make a we've even had like jokes about cone of bears, right? If you have a spell like, let's say, blink and you want it to affect multiple targets, well, then you just cause that delivery to be a bigger area. And anyone that's in that effect is affected by the spell. At level one, if you want to be a character that animates a flying sword, you can do that with the animate spell. That same spell that you have right there to animate a flying sword, you can also use to animate a 
a table, a bed, whatever you want. If you wanted to make a wall of fire, if you wanted to make a ball of fire, you want to just shoot a fire bolt. You want to shoot out multiple rays of fire, right? Whatever you'd like to do, that is all under the wheelhouse of the same spell. We're just talking about different deliveries and possibly different bigger damage dice. I hope that was helpful. And if you want to dive in a bit more into the system and everything, the quick start is available over on the Land of the Blind storefront. And we're wrapping up the campaign right now over on GameFound to get this game into print. If you want to help us make that happen, we're trying to raise some more funds for some more artists here at the tail end of this thing. So go over, check out the campaign. We have a full solo version of the game you can go play right now for yourself for absolutely free. So anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all so much for checking out Vagabond. I hope you all are staying safe, staying healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.